like we're live on YouTube, live on Facebook, and live on Instagram. So give you a second to get caught up here. Looks like Twitter is just now sending out the links. Um, all kinds of good stuff. David, how are you, sir? Got your package in the mail. I uh, did some scribbling on it and sent it off to the CFO. She'll do her little scribble on it, and then she'll get it out to you. So you should have that soon. So very cool, cool, cool. Uh, Nicole, hello. Mary, hello. Looks like uh, Instagram's working out nicely. Good evening. Or, yeah, I guess it's evening, right? Uh, Donna's here. Daniela's here. Karen's here. Hello. Very, very, very fun. Um, Lisa's here. So we're new today. I went. I want to try YouTube. So it, we're live over on YouTube. Uh, so uh, Twitter wasn't working out very well. I'll give you to be honest with you. So I wasn't really happy with the Twitter interface. So we've kind of dropped Twitter. So Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube is the plan for tonight. So uh, Montreal's checking in, which makes us international. Hello. Very nice. Uh, Arkansas, Jamie's here. Deborah's here. Lori, good to see you as well. Nicole's here asking about my wife. We'll talk about her in a second. But she's doing awesome, uh, which is very cool. Let's see who else we have. Um, New Hampshire, Kathy's checking in. Shannon's checking in. Hey, ho, 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 Jan. I like it. Yeah, it's a little bit, uh, so I have my little Christmas tree right here. I should probably get it. Uh, we should probably do a Christmas show. Hang on. There. There. Merry Christmas show. Uh, Colorado's checking in on Instagram. Uh, Tammy says hello. Therese, hello. Keith from New York City. Andrea's checking in. Hello. Uh, did you guys see the logo Keith designed? Just, I put it on uh, OperationFatDag.org. You can see Keith, Keith's logo. It's awesome. Uh, Shannon, yes, family is doing fantastic. Penny from Florida. Deb, hello, North, with, North, Northwest Indiana. Colby, haven't seen you in a while. Very nice. Pam checking in on YouTube from uh, Michigan. Very cool. So you'll have to let me know after we're done which interface we like best. Um, obviously, Facebook seems to be the most consistent. Uh, Instagram's decent, but Instagram only gives me an hour, and I don't know what YouTube does. We're about to find out what YouTube gives us for, for time. So, uh, But Twitter wasn't working out for me. I, I could be honest with you on that one. Uh, Donna, hello. Marietta Georgia's checking in. Jennifer, hello. Joy Z's checking in. Kathy. Joanne says, hello, Mike and gang. Uh, um, Debbie from OSU just did 60 minutes. Woohoo! Uh, Liz says hello. Atlanta is checking in. Ellen. Uh, Katie's on the way to the Oregon coast. Very cool. Madison says hey, Mikey. Ha! Hi, Madison. Your mom rocks. Right? Yep, she does. So, um,. Madison's mom, Rachel, and I chat back and forth. And as you guys know, I try and keep up with all the social media stuff. It, it's a little bit difficult, but uh, every once in a while, things catch me, and then I miss some things. And um, Rachel is just killing it. A hundred and, I don't know, 20 some, 25 pounds, killed it. What are you at? 129, I think, is my guess. I don't know where you're exactly at. Um, anyway, so she just ran a 5K and, and 950. Uh, you know, at a 950 pace, which is anything under 10 minute paces, like that's that's real work. So very cool. Uh, so uh, Instagram's asking why we're doing the afternoon show, so I can go to bed at a regular time. So see, good guess, 129, huh? Woohoo! Um, yeah. So Rachel's over on Instagram, 129 pounds down, running 5Ks. You can do this, folks. Very very fun. But anyway, so we're doing afternoon show, so I can go to bed on the evenings. Um, so but if it pops up, it pops up. The best way to find out is fatdag.com. Click on the calendar tab. Uh, I think it's called calendar. I forget what I named it now. I just renamed it. Um, I renamed it to something the other day because it was events. Click on events and then click on calendar. That'll tell you when the next live show is. But the afternoon shows on Saturday and Sunday will, will seem to work for a little bit. So, um, you know, we'll see. If it works, it works. Jennifer checking in from Iowa. Michaela, 
from Idaho. Uh, Jennifer says, glad you're back. Kim Jones out of Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, so Carrie, hello. I, yeah, I know Carrie for sure. Carrie was at the at the Virginia DC meetup. Uh, she's she's awesome. Yeah, so yeah, let's talk about that for for briefly. I mean, obviously, I'm back. Um, my wife went in for surgery. Everything's fine. Just was having some some complications, and so went and see the doctor. And the doctor said, "Let's just do surgery, take care of this." And so that's all well. So she's resting comfortably, recovers beautifully. Everything is everything is perfect. Um, but you know, for the next three or four weeks, she's going to be kind of just home from work, which is cool for her. Uh, it's important for her to rest up. So as of right now, actually, her and her mom, or my mom, or my mother-in-law flew in. So they went for a little car ride. So we could do a podcast, and they'll be back, and that'll give us the evening together. But uh, really appreciate all your guys' thoughts and prayers. It was really heartwarming and touching to see that much support, and uh, really, really appreciate it. So, uh, so thank you for that. I shared a lot of your comments with her, and she smiled from ear to ear too. So um, it's just pretty cool that we truly are. Uh, are a family. Obviously, we don't get to hug and, and connect like we would a real family, but nonetheless, it doesn't mean the intent isn't there to to support each other and connect. And so, appreciate uh, you do that. So, uh, let's see. So let's go. Yeah, Patriot shirt, Kathy. Yeah, it's pa- Patriots Day. Um, you don't like my tree? I'll get the tree right. I get it right here. Let's see. If, uh, I'm experimenting. So if you're on Facebook, you're going to have a chance to see the Charlie. Well, let's see if I can get it right here. It's just probably not going to work. I can't get all three cameras working at the same in the same view without putting the tree in my lap, which is kind of silly. But that's the Christmas tree I use on my desk. Uh, it's just kind of fun. So, cool. Well, let's rock into this because, like I said, they're out getting some medicine, uh, getting some other things done. Let's roll into the show. Let me get the show recorded. Then we can hang out after the show. Uh, but I want to get the show part recorded while it's quiet in the house. That's the important piece. But let's uh, cheers. that here boom 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 cool got it looks like it was good mic check testing one two three All right, that's cool beans. Let me get here. Missing a lot of your comments on Facebook. Sorry. Uh, Cool, cool, cool. All right, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get this done. Again, thank you for all your support. We'll hang out after the show for for a lot longer than uh, we'll see. You know, it depends on what what the conversation is. But it's an IKEA water bottle. Nothing special about it. Got it at IKEA. Um, So, cool. Episode 149, here we go. I am your host, Fat Dag. You're listening to Wise Advice. My weight loss journey failed when I focused on how. It wasn't until I switched my focus to why that I truly transformed myself. Join the show on the web at fatdag.com and follow along on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Wise Advice. Send in your comments, your questions, and your celebrations. I'll include them as part of the show. But before we dive in, remember, when you're out of points, stop eating points. Hey, I'm honored to be your wingman as we walk through this journey together because I believe in you. 
Well, hello. Welcome to episode 149 of Wise Advice. And I uh, want to continue to give you guys a ton of thanks and, and uh, uh, let you know that I appreciate all the support that you've given to, to me and to my wife and to our family. Uh, everything is going fantastic. Recovery is going exactly as planned. The doctor was more than pleased. So there will be no issues once the recovery is, is over. We'll continue to rock and roll and, uh, you know, your thoughts, prayers and messages and comments and texts and tags, all that stuff really made it, uh, made the whole process just kind of interesting in a sense to see that there was that much support out there. So, uh, really from the bottom of our hearts and, uh, we say thank you for, for all that you do to, to support us, uh, in this endeavor. So really wanted to let you know that I appreciate that. Uh, episode 149 is also brought to you by Nokia Health. They continue to walk with me in this journey. And as you know, I check my weight uh, every single morning. It's the one thing that I do that keeps me accountable to this process. Uh, we'll talk about it in a little bit. That you know, having, a, having your daily number for me gives me a level of accountability. Just kind of let me know that, that it's that feedback mechanism to let me know that my weight's up or down and what I did the day before, it's working or not working. And uh, and they've given us a promo code DAG20, D-A-G-2-0. We'll get you 20% off of the body cardio and the body plus scale at Nokia Health, uh, at the Nokia Health website. So go ahead and you go to fatdag.com. The link is right on the front page. You can click on that. And now through December 20th, uh, I'm guessing if you ordered today, you'd still have time to get it for a Christmas gift. So uh, hashtag gift of health. Thanks to Nokia Health. But... Let's go ahead and open the show. Um, this is a pretty fun email. It's from Alex, and it says, Hi, Mike. Um, this is Alejandra, or Alex for short. My Connect username is A Sanchez 021977 I'm 40 years old, a single mom of a 16-year-old boy, and that my son and the two of us live with my mom in a small house in the community in San Diego, California. I've been waiting to send this message to you because I wanted to wait and find out how great it would feel to reach my 10%. Wednesday night, December 13th, I reached my 10% goal and it feels amazing. What an incredible and emotional feeling I had. I was overwhelmed and I could not believe I had such great success on week one of freestyle that allowed me to get to my 10% and then some more. I started Weight Watchers online March 2017 at 389.6 pounds. Then I switched over to meetings in July at 365.8 pounds. This week's weight came in at 347.2 for a total loss of 42.4 pounds. Incredible. Just absolutely incredible. When Emily, our Weight Watcher receptionist, confirmed I was getting my 10%, your wonderful words of encouragement crossed my mind. If you can get to 10%, you can get to goal. I know I will get to goal one day. I believe I can, and I know that I will. I am starting to believe in myself. This is the first time ever in my life that I have stuck around in a weight loss journey for over four months. This is the first time ever in my life that I have released so much weight. This is the first time ever in my life that I feel like taking control back, and it feels incredible. Thank you for celebrating with me. Thank you for all your inspiration and to all the listeners that share their stories so that we can have great success. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the work you put into this podcast, for being an awesome wingman, and for all the support you provide to each and every single one of us. I also thank you for serving our country, and it makes me feel safe when someone like you works hard in protecting the country and us. So thank you for all that you do. Best regards and happy holidays to you and your beautiful family, Alex, out of San Diego, California. Well, Alex, uh, let's, let's start with the obvious. 10% is fantastic. You, you've reached 10%. You are absolutely right in hearing exactly what I said and understanding it. If you've reached 10%, you can reach goal. And the reason I say that is because it took you, in particular, it took you four months to get to your weight loss journey. 
during that four month time period as you're working this program there were days where you wanted to quit there were days where you wanted to give up there were days where you didn't really understand what you were doing but you did it anyways or you woke up the following day and you regrouped and you continued on it's that series of ups and downs that led mostly to downs that gets you down to your 10 percent weight loss so if you can make it through the ups and the downs and continue in that downward trend You've proven that you can set a goal. You've proven that you can work hard to get that goal. And you've proven that you don't have to be perfect on your way to it. You are absolutely right in that if this is a feeling that feels amazing. When I tell you what, when you reach goal, when you continue on, every milestone from here on out feels equally amazing, if not more. So as you continue to work this journey, I want you to know that you can do this. And I love to hear the fact that you said that you're starting to believe in yourself. It is that belief that will carry you to goal. You can do this. You did it. You've been doing it for four months. Whatever you did for the last four months, do again for the next four months. Every day you're going to start feeling better and better and better about your journey. You're, you're having amazing success because you're focused and you want to get it done. As you start to feel better and you start to look better, I just want you to take a moment right now to write down in pen, in paper, how you feel. Things that you're able to do now that you maybe weren't able to do earlier. Because as you start getting more and more success in this program, you're going to start forgetting what the beginning of this journey looked like. And the beginning of this journey is what got you to where you are now because you were tired of the beginning part of the journey. I don't ever want you to forget that feeling. I want you to capture that now so that when you're down your next 10% and you start feeling really good, you can go back and read it and say, okay, I know what, I know what the starting line looks like. I don't ever want to get there again and I can continue doing everything that I've done along this way. I absolutely am honored to celebrate with you. You're, you're truly an inspiration as well. There are folks listening right now as you shared your story who are starting today, who are starting soon, and they don't even know that their 10% goal is possible. You've proven to them that it's possible. And that is the beauty and that is the power that as we all come together in this podcast and we share these stories, other people go, ah, I get it. I get it. And we're going to talk about it a little more in the next email. As Linda writes in, she says, Hi, Mike. I've been really struggling to come up with the underlying why. I know you said to always remember my why. I walked, uh, remember my why that I walked in the door of Weight Watchers. I first did Weight Watchers and reached goal in the 80s while I was in college. I don't remember much about that. There may have been another redo, I don't really remember, in the early 2000s. I lost 80 pounds and I kept it off for about four years. Then I allowed life to distract me. The 80 pounds came back. I started back in 2008. I lost about 45. Then I bounced over the same 10 pounds for about a decade. A few medical things and stress didn't help. I do consider it a success that I more or less maintained and didn't return to my highest weight. I have about 40 to goal. I'm four and a half weeks till the Weight Watcher cruise and five pounds to the return of Wonderland. I am tracking and I'm targeting the blue dots. Thanks for your podcast, Linda. Linda, you're absolutely a huge success. You understand that this is a life journey and that you have to balance everything that comes along with your life. You've proven that you can get to goal because you've done it in college. It's the same mental mindset that you had then that you have to tap in now. You have the luxury of knowing it's possible because you did it. And then as you as you said, your life kind of got distracting uh, because you took your eye off of the actual journey part of it. You were enjoying life, and you got a little bit out of balance, and that out of balance lets the weight creep back up. But you know you can do it because you've done it before, and you didn't gain it all back, which means you understand what you're going back to, and your mind did not allow you to get there. Your mind kicked back in and said, I want to do this. I want to I wanna just put the brakes on. I want to keep going. You're mentally tough. Finding your why, though, is very critical, but it's not the only thing in this journey. 
There are pieces of this journey where as you think, trying to figure out your why, you continue to stay working the plan as you try and, and try and uncover it. And what I found a lot of times is that as you take notes along the way about things that you're able to do now that you may not have been able to do previously, the why starts to become clearer. I don't want you to wait until you figure out your why to get started. You can go ahead and get started now if you're not fully clear on what that why looks like. But as you're working the plan, find things that, that you're able to do that you couldn't do before. And, and it's simple things like no longer being out of breath walking upstairs or in, and running a 5K in, you know, at a 9.50 pace. When you start doing things like that, you know, and when you start doing things that you never ever thought were possible and you write them down, your why starts to emerge as, oh, I want to continue doing this. I want to prevent myself from getting back there. So continue to take notes. You are a huge success because you're stuck with it. You're so close to Wonderland. You're tracking and you're targeting those blue dots and you're going to get it done. I know you can do this, Linda. You've got this. We're here for you. Let's walk together and get it done. Next email comes in. Paige writes in and says, Hi, my name is Paige. My grandma introduced me to you for the first time today. I was instantly touched by what people were saying, and the advice you offered was amazing. So, my gramps and I are doing Weight Watchers together. I was active. I walked on a daily basis up to four miles. I was losing every week. Now, two months later, I'm struggling to stay motivated. Why did I join Weight Watchers? I lived most of my life obese. I am 32 years old. I have gained the weight that I lost back. I feel down about myself, and it's hard. My boyfriend proposed to me October 2017. I want to lose this burden that is my body, not just for the sake of being beautiful, but to feel healthy, gain control of my life, and to believe my fiancé when he tells me that I'm beautiful. I have the power to change my life, yet I still feel so powerless. I don't know. Any advice? I look forward to hearing more of your wonderful sessions. Your new friend, Paige. Paige, there's a lot of awesomeness going on in your email. Uh, the fact that your Graham and you are working the program together is amazing. The fact that you, you got active and you got after it and you started walking up the four miles a day, amazing. Your boyfriend proposed to you, amazing. The fact that you want to feel what beautiful when he tells you you're beautiful, that's where you have to refocus. If he's telling you that, that's what he sees through his eyes. You've got to believe him on that. There is no reason for him to even pretend that is not the case. He knows you're beautiful. He asked you to marry him because he knows that you're beautiful. He's focused on way more about you than just the physical appearance. And he, he is absolutely loving you regardless. And so when you get to the point, and I want you to get there quickly, when you get to that point, then the power to change your life will come from within. You absolutely have the power to change your life. And it starts with you accepting where you are in your life at the moment and accepting that, hey, here's where I'm at. And so you can get to the point where you say, I, you know, I, I, I know what I look like. I know what I feel like. I've accepted that. I'm beautiful. I'm happy. I'm moving on. But I can make improvements. And that improvement piece is where you and your grants work together. And you say, we can do this. When you started, again, if you notice in your email, you said, I was active, I walked. You started using things that were past tense. So somewhere along the line, the things that you were doing to get the success that you got drifted away. I want you to tap back into that. I don't want you to live the rest of your life obese. And you think about this as obesity, I still struggle from it. It's a disease. It's a mindset. It is not a life sentence. Well, it is, but it's not a life sentence in the way where you have to live with it. You can learn to manage it, and you can, you can get away from it to, to a large extent by being successful and being focused. And, and I call it uh, you know, project management, right? And so you look at your calendar, you look at your tasks, you look at your tools, your charts, the data, all of that, and you manage your life 
to manage this obesity crisis. And I think one of the things that, that I'm starting to notice more and more is that as I talk to people who are successful, a common theme emerges, and a lot of us didn't believe that this was possible. So we don't understand that, that we can lose weight. Sure, we, you know, we, we make the assumption we can lose 5, 10, 15 pounds. That seems to be, quote, unquote, easy, right? But a lot of us don't think you know, significant, sustainable weight loss is possible. If you think about the only times we ever hear of that, it's on a reality TV show, for instance, or, or it's a guy who's pushing a gym product who's never eaten a cheeseburger in his life telling you to just work out you know, 10 minutes a day. You know, or, or you get to the point where, you know, obviously we know surgery is a viable option for many, but we think that is the only option. And so when you take all these things together, well, the piece that is missing from this journey are the real life people, the real life examples of, of someone who just said, I want to manage this for the rest of my life. And that's what it takes. You have to stay focused. And, and every time I say it takes focus, it takes discipline. What I really mean is it takes management. You've got to look at your data set. You've got to look at your tools. You've got to look at how much effort you're putting into this. And the power to change your life is a choice. You wake up and say, this is what I want to do today. I want to, I want to, go, walk. I want to go for a walk. I want to eat healthy. I want to be healthy. I want to be the inspiration for my grandmother. I want her to be the inspiration to, for me. The fact that the two of you are working together is incredible. And that piece is makes this team part of it, gives you an accountability partner that you can talk to daily. But then you get on Connect and you get everywhere else and you see other people doing exactly what you're trying to do. And I'm talking about other people who are real people who are getting it done. And that right there gives you the power to change your life. Go change your life. Go after it. Go take the control that it takes to get it done and do it. We're here to walk this journey with you. We're here. The Wise Wingman Facebook group is all, all full of inspiring stories of people who every single day said they want to change their life. And they're doing it. Next up, Sylvia writes in and says, Hi, Mike. I really don't know if I like the freestyle plan. It's food that I don't like or I cannot eat, leaving me to be hungry. I guess you can say I'm a picky eater because I do not enjoy anything that is now zero points. I might be lucky to eat eggs once a week. I'm not a big fan of fish and I rarely eat turkey. I do eat chicken, but it's not really my first choice. I had chicken and asparagus for dinner and I was forcing myself to eat it. I've been eating a lot of fruit, but I'm afraid it's going to make my blood sugar go up and it's not satisfying my cravings. I had my points divided out each meal, but now I feel like I'm afraid to use my points during breakfast and the lunch because I won't have enough points left over for dinner. I track everything. I use all of my daily points. I used all of my weekly points already, and my week isn't over yet. I was doing so good on the plan. I hit my 10% and I lost 27 pounds, though I feel like I might fail and go back to my old bad habits. Any suggestions, Sylvia? Sylvia, well, here we are, right? And this has been a popular topic for the past couple of days uh, about the way the plan changed and, and significant changes to the plan. And, and here's what I can tell you. I do a couple of meetings a week, obviously. Um, I have seen the full range of gamut. There are people who absolutely, without a doubt, 100% love this plan and they're rocking it. Then there are people like you that say, you know, I can't do it. Um, you know, and so from all the way from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows, we are all in this together. Now, I wasn't in on the decision. I wasn't in on the process of how it was changed. I can only now give you my opinion as to what I think. And here's what I think. I think, I think as the plan rolls out in November, December timeframe, it was December 3rd when the plan rolled out. I think what happened is, is, is if you're in a Weight Watcher meeting, if you're logging into your app in December, you're mentally tough. Most people, as we know it, most people start a diet or a new lifestyle adjustment. They start it when? It's in January is when they start it, right? So they, they go strong for January, February, March, maybe. They may take a lapse, and then they may pick up in June, July, August. 
you know, because they want to get through the summer. They want that summer body. And then September is when the dip starts happening and people start falling off the plan. September happens, October, November become very difficult to stay with it. And by December, the only people working a weight loss journey in December are rock stars. Absolute rock stars are the only people in December who are mentally strong enough to stick with a program through the toughest month of the year. That's you. So in December now, you're working this plan. And so as the plan makes adjustments, as we understand that we have to adjust our foundation for a healthy eating, the thing that I would tell you is is a lot of the foods that are now zero-point foods, of course, it's the foundation for a healthy diet, right? It's the food choices that we should be incorporating into our meal. And what I don't necessarily need you to do is I don't want you to go and completely try and substitute a, a complete meal with a whole bunch of zero-point items. What I want you to think about is, is see if you can take your normal breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you can shave one to two points a day from that meal by adding in some zero-point items, by adding in a little more protein. And then so that gives you enough points to just kind of work it out. But if you're trying to completely replace a single meal, it can be difficult for folks like you and I who are somewhat picky eaters. I don't do any seafood. So giving me free seafood or zero point uh, seafood does me no good. But I'm still rocking the plan because I found other ways to make it work. Mentally, I'm in the game. Mentally, I know 100% why I'm doing this. You could change the plan however you want, and I'm not going anywhere because the feeling I have at being at goal satisfies any craving that I have for food. So we now have to, you know, if for many of us who, who didn't get here by eating healthy food, we got here by eating foods that were processed and, and made from a, you know, from in a lab somewhere where they're purposely trying to become more addictive and so they can sell more food. We have to beat that. And so if you compare an apple to a Snickers bar, very rarely will the Snickers bar win, sorry, very rarely will the apple win on taste, right? Because, because the Snickers bar is purposely created to attack all of the sense, uh, tr uh, taste buds that, you, that, are, that are making it addictive, and you have to kind of break through that. So the first couple times if I hand you one or the other, you're going to grab the Snickers bar. But, but slowly if I, start, if I start telling you and reminding you that the Snickers bar is higher in points, it's higher in sugar, it's higher in fat, it's not going to align with your goal. It doesn't meet the program requirements. It's not going to get you to goal, but this apple will. And you know why you're doing it. You'll be a little bit more tempted to adjust your eating habits and your lifestyle. And that's where we're at. So, so even though, you know, I don't believe you're, I'm not a doctor, so clearly don't take this as medical advice, but I don't believe that the amount of fruit you're going to eat is going to spike your blood sugar as much as some of the other things that are out there that certainly will do it. You clearly know what you're doing. You're down 10%. That's 27 pounds. You clearly understand what it takes to get this done. That happened because you powered through understanding fully what the goal is and why you want to get that. Let's focus on that piece. So let's look at the list of zero point items and let's see if we can incorporate some of them into a little bit of your meal, not as a complete meal replacement. Let's look at see if we can roll over a point or two here and there so that that power to carry you through gets you to that freedom of getting you to the weekend where you can then eat some of the things that you've had before that you can rely on. I'm positive this program can work for you. The mindset that you have right now, and I understand it, trust me, it's, you know, I've been living the plan a little bit longer than you have. My first reaction was very similar to your email. It's why I pulled this email out of the box because I could relate to it as well. But what I knew is as the plan changed, as, as I understood the why behind the changing of the plan, it aligned perfectly with the goals that I have for myself, and that is that I want to stay healthy, and I want to be happy and at goal for the rest of my life. I can't do that by continuing to use the bad habits that got me to join in the first place. So I understand you, I hear you, and what I'm telling you is I'm here to walk with you, and together we'll figure it out. Reverting back to your bad habits, 
certainly doesn't align with your goal. So continue to make small adjustments. Don't go crazy. You know, don't, I said it a couple times now, don't, don't try and go and have a zero point dinner. Folks like you and I are not going to ever have a zero point dinner. It's just not going to happen for you or I. So we have to find ways to make a seven point dinner, a four point dinner, make a six point lunch, a, uh, a five point lunch. Make a four-point breakfast, a two-point breakfast. And so that replaces the amount of points that were adjusted to get you there in the first place. And you continue to get more protein, which, which keeps you full and satisfied longer. Look at the food that you're eating and understand that you're going to have to make some adjustments. And that those adjustments are adjustments to a healthy weight and lifestyle that you can carry forever. So when you get there... When we all work together, we start celebrating together. We're 10% goals. People who've down hundreds of pounds. The plan has evolved year after year. And, and I put it on Connect the other day is, is 10 years from now, this plan is going to look nothing like it looks right now. Yet people will still be joining. People will still be losing weight. And someone's going to say, man, I wish I could have freestyle back. And so those are the people who are going to get it done because they know why they're doing it, and the why powers them to celebration. Go ahead and share your celebrations on the air. Email fatdag.com. Go to, go to fatdag.com. Click on the Listen Now link. Send in your celebrations, your comments, your questions. I'll work them in as part of the show. I want you to email in your celebrations because I want you to be absolutely proud of what you're doing. When you share your story, it gives somebody else hope. You become the inspiration for somebody else, and that keeps this chain going. It's kind of like when you're in the line for, you know, back at the Starbucks line, now that we're getting healthier food, and the person in front of you pays for you. What do you do? You reach back and you pay for the person behind you. So as you work the plan and you get to goal, you reach back and the person behind you gets goal. The person behind them reaches goal. The person behind them reaches goal. That is what you sending in your email does. It continues that chain of hope, encouragement, and lets us know that we can do this. Well, that's going to do it for this time. Remember that losing weight and getting healthy has nothing to do with luck. You have to remain disciplined and focused. Set your sights on your goal and go after it. I wish you good focus. Whoop, whoop. Short show. I got back to the computer behind me. It said 29 minutes. I must have talked really fast this time. So, cool. So that's episode 149 in the books. Um, yeah, Lenny, uh, you and I, so there's a handful of us out there that, um, that you know, we agree. I, I don't do seafood. Vegetables and I aren't exactly friends. Um, you know, I, I, chicken and turkey work for me, sure. Um, you know, but, but so, but, but you've got to understand, um, the food, I meant to say this during the show. Dang it. I'm not going to re-record it. But, but the food industry is constantly evolving. The people in the food industry are constantly, every single day, they're trying to find ways to get in our pockets and sell us food. We have to adjust our lives to combat that. If we don't, if we don't take action that counteracts their action, then, then we're going to be stuck. So, um, so that's, you know, that's why the plan changed because, you know, the, the term we're going to say is we're keeping up with science, but the reality is we're combating the food industry who's trying to poison us and not, you know, and trying to make money off us. That's their only goal. And so, so no, I'm not an asparagus eater, you know, I'm, but, but there's going to be a time shortly where I enjoy being healthy so much that the next time I go somewhere and it's offered, and I go, you know what, for zero points, I'm willing to try it. I'm not willing to try asparagus for three or four points. I'm just not, you know. Uh, it's not worth three points for me to try asparagus because then what if I don't like it? But if it's zero points, all right, you know what, dang it, I'll give it a shot. Who knows, I may like it, you know. So, Deb, I know. I, hey, <laughs> this is not about making fun of my food choices. I'm just trying to be real. Is 
you know, I, I, I'm i just not, um, right, so Donna says it perfectly, try beats for the first time, you know, so that's that's what I want you to do with freestyle, I want you to look at that list, it costs you absolutely nothing to give it a try, and so instead of having a whole meal of asparagus, put, you know, again, take your, take your eight-point lunch and see if you can make it a six-point lunch, Take your, your five-point breakfast and see if you can make it a three-point breakfast. You know, So there is, I don't do math in public, but there's, there's six or seven points quickly that, that we've replaced with you, you know, and the adjustment. So anyway, you can do it. But um, anyway, so that's, uh, yeah. So and you gotta, you got to, I mean, there's 200, what did I say, there's 200 items on the list or something like that. Um, so we've got to look through and see if we can, have it and Pam's a great example as well Pam says convinced your husband to have turkey chili tonight right and the roasted asparagus is delicious well Lori we'll see I'm not going to concede that point yet but uh but no 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 for sure so cool um so what else is going on so we are a week away from Christmas I I think we'll do a show tomorrow as well because I really want to I tell you, my calendar has been absolutely nuts, um, and so uh, you know I want to get back into to you know the daily podcast. Excuse me, I, I believe it's just very very critical to this journey. So we're going to get back to that, um, and then I got I want to start wrapping, doing some interviews and doing some other stuff to really expand the show. So that's the deal there. If you haven't been to the Operation Fat Dag website, uh, just a quick update on that. It's incredible. Um, go go check out the website, uh, operationfatdag.org. Uh, we got an amazing team. We're going to completely revamp uh, the military from the standpoint of health and fitness. I'm, I promise you that. It's going to be awesome. So. Um, so Lisa says, chopped up Brussels sprouts and carrots while listening to the show. Very, very good. Um, yeah, J, uh, JYW says, going to spend the next two weeks reflecting and planning your goals for 2018. Very nice. Um, let's see, I missed a comment there. So Debbie says, not really 200, only a few new only a few new were added to zero points. All fruits were already zero, right? I, I mean, and I, I'm just, I thought the, the term I saw was that there are now 200 uh, zero point items. So maybe, you know, maybe we already had 50 of them before. I don't know. But um, the whole concept is to slowly incorporate piece of the, pieces of them into your journey to save a point or two per meal uh, and see. You know, so let's say you have a plate of French fries. I'm just, it'll just throw it out there, right? Let's say you have a plate of French fries that, that's 14 points. Uh, what I normally do is I'll cut them in half and make it seven points. But now I may cut it in half again and make it, uh, make it three and a half to four points and then add in a zero-point vegetable that I wouldn't have had before to see if that works for me. And so that's how I'll save two or three more points and, uh, you know, just kind of go down that path is how I'm going to plan on attacking it. So, um, uh, so, so Joanne says, I've been eating turkey and chicken, but I tend to have low iron and just started adding more beef when freestyle hit. So, okay. Um, so and Ruthie, Ruth says down, love the new plan down 4.6. It's gotten you back on track. Nice. Very good. And it's a great time of year to be on track. And, and I meant what I said. I, don't, I have no idea. I, I don't collude with any of the folks in, in New York. Um, we don't talk, so I have no idea, you know, what their, what their mindset and motive was. But think about it, though. If you're, if, you're, if you're following Weight Watchers in December, here we are a week before Christmas, and we're talking about Weight Watchers. We're talking about losing weight. This is the most mentally tough group in the world because at a time when the rest of the world doesn't care, we at least are focused on attempting to care. I'm not saying we're doing well. I'm not saying we're perfect. I'm saying we're we're at least focused enough to attempt to care. That's powerful in December. So hats off to all of you for that. So uh, Goddess Life says, been at this for a year. Happy that your eggs and chicken are zero. I agree. I do think, you know, hey, and maybe we'll do this. Let's start a new hashtag. At, uh, I don't know, but maybe what we'll do is we'll we'll see if we can start voting on our, our on what the next zero point item should be. Um, so you know, I'm gonna put my vote in. <laughs> um, Deb says, you know, the Wise Wingmen are awesome. They are. Wisewingmen.com is a Facebook group uh, that is just for listeners of the show. 
essentially, and that's how it started. So you can go to that link; it'll it'll dump you automatically into a Facebook group. Uh, you can check that out. But you're right; that is a that is a really good group of folks. Um, Kathy says, "I'm excited that that week three, day three of the Couch to 5K did not kill you." Very cool. Christine in California is checking in. She gained 10 pounds this month, but I am still here, uh, and that going way up stops now. That's what I mean. That's that's mentally strong in December. You know how many people would have with that? Christine would would wait until January to put the brakes on. Not you. You're strong. So very very good. Um, Karen's gonna go plan and prep. Uh, Angie checking in. We're almost done, Angie. But good to see you for sure. Um, Joey said there were a few nitpickers of my meeting this morning complaining about the calories and fruit. You know, so I mean, I've done a couple meetings now, and so I can tell you, uh, I have seen every possible response to this plan. I've seen them all. Uh, I believe I have, and maybe that maybe someone will surprise me, but I've seen people who absolutely love it, and I've seen people who absolutely hate it. So, uh, so somewhere in the middle is where we're going to have to land, you know. And so, and it's a complete guess on my part, but but those who love it had probably adapted to a healthier eating pattern those who don't like it you know me included um there's still food i don't want to give up and so now when you take away points i have to start making a or sorry the correct term is now when you've adjusted my points uh what i have to do i have to start making a little bit more difficult of a decision do i really want that or am i willing to and then and then i look and say okay if i want that i have to then look at the rest of the nutritional value and i go yeah i don't want that or, you know, or I'll dig into my weeklies and have some flexibility or whatever I need to do. So, um, let's see. Uh, Kim says, tried on some no-stretch size 20 jeans and they fit perfectly. They were hanging out of the top shelf of my closet. You were wearing 24 stretch jeans. So that's awesome from a 24 down to a 20. Good job, Kim. Uh, that's super duper awesome. I'm going to get that one written in the book. Um, let's see. I don't know where my other pen is, so uh, let's see. Oops. I was like, I opened the book and it was all blank, and I was like, wait a minute. Um, Hmm, good job. So Kim says, try it on no stretch pants uh, from a size 20, 24 down to 20. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so Carolyn, uh, so is it Carly? Carly to the greatest says she's, uh, she says, I will have to say I've eaten a lot less processed foods. So, you know, again, I'm, uh, I'm 100% on board and, and committed to what we're talking about here, but but it's going to force those of us who aren't fully on board. It's going to force us to rethink those habits and then make the adjustment. And and truly, that that adjustment is probably needed to get a healthy diet. So you know, and, and again, me included. So I'm not judging and I'm not making fun. It's just that's what I had to do. So I can tell from experience. Um. Let's see, Phyllis. As of episode one forty nine, you're caught up on podcast. Woohoo! So go back and listen. You know, Phyllis. I tell people all the time is that um, you know you when you hear a podcast for the first time, you probably only retain about sixty percent of it. Isn't that true with most presentations? So if you were to go back and listen to it, you know, let's say fifteen, twenty, twenty nine. I'm just making them up. Eighty two, seventy six, or whatever. Uh, you may hear something differently because your mind's in a different place this not this time. So. Um, very good. Carrie says, uh, that you're, you're cutting out more sugar and sugar free and already feeling better. So that's what we're after. So, um, uh, let's see. Lisa says, how many of you five months in are where you're at in 30 to 44, 30 to 40 pounds down? We're still struggling with, yes, I can do this. I am doing this. This is really happening. You're struggling with that, even though freestyle has been good to you. Lisa, 
Um, congratulations, 30 to 40 pounds doesn't happen by accident. You've done that. You can continue to do this. If you've lost 40 pounds, you can lose as many as you want to lose. It's that simple. You can't lose 40 pounds on accident. So if you've lost 40, you can lose 41. If you lost 41, then you can lose 42. So just keep plugging away. We're after a lifestyle adjustment and change, not a goal. So um, let's see. Donna says, lost 0.4 this week. Uh, and that is absolutely a win. I'm below the weight I was when I gave birth to my son, who was 40 years old. So it's a win-win. Let's, let's get that down there. Donna, I know you're in the book a couple times. But when you have awesome stuff... Hmm, good job, Donna. Proud of you. Very, very proud of you. Um, ha, Chrissy says, down 8.8 since the new plan. You did get off the plan for about six weeks, so your body was on the new plan and in shock. The <laughs> body's like, what are we doing? <laughs> very, very cool. Um, Tammy lost 3.8. Tammy, good to see you. Uh, Linda's chiming in with bacon should be the next zero-point item. So, uh Jennifer, thank you for that. Jennifer ordered her Nokia scale, so Nokia Health, um, it's 20, uh, 20%. It's a good deal. It's like uh, it's 20 bucks off of one. I think it makes it from 99 to 79 or something like that. And then the other one is, I forget, it's like almost $35 savings is a 20% off. So uh, it's the one I use every single day. I use the Nokia Health Body Cardio. I'll be honest with you, I like the, I think the Body Plus would suffice for most of us. I like the additional data that the Body Cardio gives, but... But the Body Plus is a, is a fantastic scale. And so I say that because I've used them, uh, not just because I'm pushing them. They, they support me in the journey, so I support them back. So, Jennifer, thank you uh, for ordering it. I appreciate that. Um, Phyllis, five months in, 38 pounds down, reached lifetime last week. Very nice. Congratulations, Phyllis. Lifetime. Incredible. Incredible. Uh, didn't happen by accident, did it? Nope, you you did that. Jennifer over on Instagram says down 6.4 the first week of freestyle. Love the new program. Carrie, good to see you. Take care. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, Lisa, no, no alcohol would be my undoing. Yeah, alcohol can be, uh, can add up quick. Paul, good, good uh, staying the same is not a bad deal. Karen says, what's the NSV? So Karen, what we call an NSV is what we call a non-scale victory. It's things that are that, that you don't necessarily notice that happen. Like for me, getting off my blood pressure medicine, non-scale victory. It had nothing to do with the scale and the fact that the scale helped it. Uh, but I'm celebrating the fact that I'm wearing a different shirt, that I'm wearing different clothes, that I can walk up the stairs without, without getting winded. Um, I'm celebrating that I can tie my shoes. I'm celebrating that, that I can clip my toenails. Those are all things that are not related to the number on the scale directly. I could wake up in the morning tomorrow, have a gain, and still clip my toenails. I'm very proud of that. So uh, that's what we call a non-scale victory. Um, Diane says, maybe a little stuck right now, but you just made me feel like a rock star for being on a program in December. Right? You are a rock star. I didn't even make you feel like anything. I just told you the truth. So, I mean, seriously, think about it. Who in the world stays on a program in December? Only rock stars, right? I mean, come on, there's a whole there's a whole world of people who can't wait to join in January. There are people right now who are who want to join. They're mad at themselves. They hate everything about themselves. They're they're absolutely annoyed that they're overweight and there's nothing they can do about it. And what are they going to do? They're going to wait till January to come in, which is, I'm proud of them for coming in in January. But those of us who are here now, mentally strong. Very, very mentally strong. So, um, let's see. Uh, looks like I got all there. Catching up to your comments. Um... Let's go ahead and uh, I think I'm going to try and go ahead and wrap this up in just a second uh, just so that 
we can get on with our rest of our weekend here. But uh, best plans for me tomorrow, I'll, I'll make a decision in a little bit as to whether I'm going to do this tomorrow as well, but it'll probably be a mid-afternoon show tomorrow. So let's see you there. Um, so I'm going to scroll, I'm gonna scroll through. Um, let's see. I'm going to scroll through. Um, So it looks like Nicole's out running. Good job, Nicole. Running. Woo! Uh, let's see. Henry Blake feeling alive. I love it. Yeah, Santa, please bring Kim a scale. Um, cool. So Jerry ordered the scale as well. I appreciate you guys doing that. I really do. I don't get anything out of it, you know, other than the fact that they like me when you guys do it. Um, and then they continue to, to, they'll continue to run those promotions. But, you know, as far as, you know, you guys ordering it, nothing comes to me out of, out of you ordering it. It's just a 20% off to you guys. So, uh, just know that. So I appreciate you because again, when you order the, you know, they'll see that name and they'll run a report to how many scales sold because this guy put out the code. Um, and it just continues to build that relationship and maybe the next promo is better, you know, or whatever. So, um, so cool. Um, rock stars, rock stars. Um, let's see. Cool. All right. So I'm at the bottom of your comments. So Donna, yes, I'll end on that. Uh, love to you all as well. Again, thank you for all the, the prayers, comments, encouragement, and support for our family. Um, you know, it's, it's nothing, I mean, back up. It's absolutely serious. It you know, it's, um, you know, anytime you get surgery and you spend the night in the hospital, it's not, uh, you know, it's not fun, um, but we're going to be a-okay. The prognosis is fantastic. There are no issues. Everything's great. Uh, and your prayers, love, and support uh, carried us through that those couple of days. So thank you for that. Uh, yes, Donna, Operation Fat Dag. Go to operationfatdag.org. The next speaking engagement is probably mid-January. I haven't heard of the official date, but it's probably coming up soon. Um, that nonprofit is going very, very well. We have a board established. I just sent the bank paperwork off to the CFO. Uh, we, I, you know, I, I want to keep it as transparent as possible. So the CFO is, is an independent person. Uh, she's not related at all. So, you know, I sent her the bank paperwork today, so she'll have it this week. Sign off of the bank. We'll move the money from the GoFundMe account into this new bank account that we're establishing together. And uh, we're going to completely change the world. And so we'll start in the military community. And as that success grows, maybe we'll, we'll branch out, you know, to firemen, police, nurses, or whatever. Um, so thank you for all that. But Truly an honor to be here on this Saturday afternoon with you. Thank you for everything that you're doing. Remember, you can do this. You're mentally tough. You're here in December getting it done. It's an honor to walk with you. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.